the NHL season is supposed to start a certain day in January. There's so many days been thrown around. What's it been like for you to kind of navigating your lives with uncertainty of when it's going to start again? Uh, well, I can tell you, it's definitely been an off season that I've never seen before. Um, it's definitely been wild, definitely frustrating at times, but I'd like to say that I've been a lot happier, you know, more times than frustrated, you know, it's given me a chance to spend more quality time with Lindsay and, and the dogs and family and friends, which has been nice. Um, and as a, as a pro athlete, you never complain. But as far as the training goes, it was very difficult because I'm used to going into the off season and knowing that I got 12 weeks and training camp is going to be on this day and you can really periodize your training. And, you know, the best part about it was, you know, I was able to eat really good food this whole time. You know, I didn't really get off my diet. And um, so I was kind of dialed in that way in training, but it, it's, it's definitely tough. And even now, I mean, we have a hypothetical date for the start, but it's not really concrete yet. So even now we're still kind of jockeying, trying to figure it out. You know, I, I can't imagine being an athlete right now and just trying to, you know, train and not know the end date. You know, for every athlete, you always know, you know, when your first competition is, you know, um, when you need to peak, you know, when you need to be game ready and like, he doesn't know so it's it's been a challenge for sure but as PK said it's been really nice to spend the quality time together and um I think we've been pretty good about you know just staying on our diet and and not going you know too far off the rails you know I think everyone with COVID's had a interesting experience and um just trying to stay as sane as possible but um again I'm I'm happy that uh PK and I got to spend that much time together we, we did go to the extreme, like the first 12 weeks of COVID, like we were working out every single day. Like we didn't stop working out the first 12 weeks. So it was like, we really kind of committed to not wanting to like gain all this weight and get out of shape. And I think that really helped us actually. And not only that, we had tub time. So we could <laughs> be sitting in the tub and looking out of shape, you know, with all of our fans watching. But I think, you know, with elite athletes like yourself, we see your social media pumping the iron, taking names, is that there's a big misconception that, especially with your diet, that it's meat, 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 pasta. But that's not actually the case. Absolutely not. I think that it's balanced. You know, at one time, uh, I used to go and pick out my own cow to start the summer. So what I do is I come home after the season, I get back home to Toronto, and my mom would go to the farm. She'd pick out a cow. We'd get it sliced up into sirloins, T-bones, ribeyes, fillets. And that's what I would eat for the summer. Um, but, you know, it's as time goes on, you know, you have to have a balance. You know, a fish, chicken, all of these things. But even more importantly, there's other ways now that you can get protein. I, I want to connect with those people and let them know that there's other options out there. And Beyond Meat has been by far the best product that I've had that isn't meat. Um, you know, and I've been able to train. I don't get tired when I'm training. For the last 14 days, anybody I've interviewed, I give two words from a Christmas song and see who can get the lyrics the fastest. You don't have to sing it. You just shout it out. You want to okay. give, give it a try? See who wins? It's only four. Of them. Yes. Okay. Song one, first two lyrics. Have yourself. A merry little Christmas. Merry Chris Christmas? Yeah, that's one for Lindsay, and I liked how yep. fantastic your. That's a you half a point. No, you were too slow, PK. Sorry, too slow. <laughs> See, I'm all about being. You fast. guys have the same right. first name, so I'm not surprised. Second one though, rocking around the, the Christmas, Christmas tree. PK, Lindsay, so close, so close. I'm sorry, I heard it. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I know. my my delay, my internet. I blame my internet. Okay. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. White Christmas. That's my favorite song, so. I'm going to give it to Lindsay. Ha, ha, I don't know what you actually so. yelled at the beginning, PK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last one. If you get this, I'm moving in with you guys and we're going to be best friends. It's my favorite song. Okay. I, 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 it's Christmas. No idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> have no I'm idea. David of a white. Christmas. No, I, 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 no, you didn't get it, PK. No. I, I, I am dreaming of a white Christmas. 
Just is that like it? No one Home I Alone? Oh, I thought that was it. No? No, I, I got to made that up. Yeah, that, that was it. A... Okay, no, you're so wrong. It's amazing. It's actually Ricky Martin's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Christmas oh. and I don't know what to do. Oh. I, 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 it's Christmas and I don't have a gift for you. <laughs> Well, they, you know the part in White Christmas. Never heard that oh, one. Yeah, we yeah, added yeah, to the Christmas yeah. playlist. 